saucing up, geeked up. Don't come with that weak stuff. Boy, Sean, I'm in beast mode. I'm a G nigga, live the G con. Off the saucing up, geeked up. Don't come with that weak stuff. Boy, Sean, I'm in beast mode. I'm a G nigga, live the G con. Nickelodeon, all that. All right, Space City Brothers, episode 20. We in the thing. Call this the Slumber Party Edition. <laughs> this nigga says Slumber Party. I definitely have been drinking. Tried out this um, So I tried to look up The wine That would be best For my palate With that Survey thing And H-E-B Didn't have it So I just grabbed This Not Your Father's Fruit Punch Which is a Picture of a White dude With slick hair And a uh, Handlebar mustache With What appears to be Deflated Boxing gloves And you know It tastes pretty good It's not bad are they supposed to be boxing gloves? I don't know. I think they're just mitts. But it doesn't have that. It doesn't have the beer taste. It doesn't have the unnecessary overpowering alcohol taste. Where mine's at? <laughs> you a hoe. Or did you point to something else? So did you point to these empty bottles? Just so people know, it is 1 a.m. On is Saturday, it yes, it's one fucking a.m. Are you serious? This is gonna be a short episode. I so shout out to you me. taking your dear sweet time. I don't give a fuck. I had to work. So did I. Twelve hour shift. I worked today too. Twelve hour shift today. What and time I did you get yesterday? off? Yesterday. Well, I got off at three because yeah, shut the fuck up. Business, no, not at I all. I got off at fucking. I got off at eleven o'clock at night. Okay, but I'm supposed also, to be there at eight. What the hell is on? But I've also done sixty hour weeks and still managed to do this podcast. Bro, you so I'm not here. Sixty hour weeks on your on your ass. I'm, yeah, because on my I my whole ass ankle, my whole look yeah, my because shit. I got my education and became a pharmacist to be able to do a pharmacist job. Well, then shut the so fuck I'm up. not here. Do it. a pharmacist job. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. You just mad? Pharmacist job. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not I've hearing never it. Been mad. I've never been upset. I'm just, well, I'm not hearing it. We do two different types of jobs. Yeah. If I had to sit if I had to sit at that, I would definitely came one time, nigga. Yeah, well, I went and got mine. I'm, I'm, not, I'm applauding you, nigga. I'm not saying I'm not knocking you for it. I'm just I'm saying, like, I ain't get mine. I work at a fucking nine to That's five the ass issue. job. The issue here is, is my back 1 hurts. It's one a.m. My back hurts. Speaking the truths. So whatever. Getting into like this asshole. week's getting into this week's uh, Harry Potter subject of the week. Oh my god! Can you please <laughs> drop this. No, because I'm not hey, done with hey, the book. Can books. you at least give me a drink if you're going to start talking about Draco Malfoy? No, nigga. Uh, oh God, I'm going to go downstairs and grab one. So, uh, the movies are awful. <laughs> Once you get past the second one, the movies are downright no, garbage. Good. No, they're not. They're pretty decent. They are absolutely not. What they, do you expect from them? They just get like whole details wrong. They either like just they either just like throw out or ignore plot points. Like the first and second movie is like okay, they just left out stuff. It's fine. Pretty much everything happened as they said it would up to a certain point. The third movie, it's like what the fuck are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? None of this is right. Well, none of this is right. I'm pretty sure they got director's cuts that we just don't the, know about. The the fourth movie is absolute absolute dog shit. They got everything wrong in that movie. I mean, but you, you know, you know they separate like movies and books don't. Yeah, don't but you made eight of them hoes for seven books. <laughs> you, I mean, the second book was probably. I mean, the last one was the, the longest one for the longest book. So. No, they're just the most no. The fourth movie. one is just bad. It, what we, was the fourth one? The fourth, the one, fourth was, one was the uh, uh. Oh, like I, no I literally it's, <laughs> it's the like Goblet that. of Fire. I couldn't no, remember the, the name. Of, yes, it is. How you gonna tell me? I just read it. How you gonna tell me? I just finished it. Fifth one is is, is uh, the Order of the Phoenix, of the which Phoenix. I'm on. I'm listening to right now. So the, the fourth Goblet one fire was the fifth one. No. So the third one was Prisoner of Azure. Prisoner, Azkaban. Prisoner, Azkaban. Okay, I remember the that. The third one was bad. That was just not a good movie. I think f- I read the fourth the fourth book and then got to the fifth one and I just could not make it through it. I, I'm still halfway through the fifth book. The fifth book is the <laughs> last one I read physically. So the fourth so Goblet of Fire, it just starts off incorrect. It starts off with him having a dream 
so in the dream, which is actually happening, is Voldemort, Peter Pettigrew, and then his snake, and then like a guy who was the caretaker of uh, Voldemort's family's house, who was Tom Riddle, who took care of their house. Uh, the guy goes up to the house because he thinks his kid's breaking into it, like burnt, setting a fire in it, and he overhears their conversation, and then they kill him. In the movie, they show a whole extra person in the room wasn't that, that some, wasn't uh, there. Wasn't that Lucius... Lucius. No, it was uh, I forgot the dude's name, but it's the dude who was in charge. The dude who was in the Ministry of Magic. His son was a Death Eater. Oh yeah, and he had him sentenced and didn't give a damn. Yeah, his I son had shit. gotten out because he. Here's a plot point that I'm pretty sure they didn't even get into in the movie. So his son was sentenced. His wife was upset, and uh, so what they ended up doing was that his son and his wife switched places and they both took a polyjuice potion so they turned into each other and then they were both like dying the son was dying because of the dementors and the mom was dying just out of grief that he became a death eater so they switched places oh the the the, 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 the son son's and, mom and and the son and the son so the son is just pure evil and, and the mom dead. was just Dying of sadness So they the switched places Took Polyjuice Potion And then the story that they told All the people is that the wife Died of just sadness after When instead they held a Fake funeral for the wife The wife is buried in the son's Grave marked under his name And the son was at the house With the with the dad And then the dad put like a hex on him Where he couldn't Where he could just control him and yeah. uh, had the elf take care of him. This is a whole bunch of shit. So the elf, <laughs> I'm like trying to keep up with. This is so it's different when it's the dad. You compared to it's the it. dad and the son. Yeah. The dad has the son under control. That. Yeah. So then the son was just like just waiting around, stuck in the house, and then uh, he was getting stronger and stronger, able to fight off the curse more and more as he kept getting food and kept getting stronger. Because when you went to Dementors, they basically just suck out all your happiness. Yeah. And then you barely bother to eat. And a lot of people die just because they go crazy. And so he... part is very dark. <laughs> oh, it's dark as shit. So he... he <laughs> need that version. He I see why they cut a lot of this shit out. He... Well, they they cut out like actual plot points. Well, so they like, you can't have a nigga and a nigga and his mama switching switching bodies. And but that's a very dying. that's a very important thing in the movie because the, the, no they because the son no the son kicked off all kicked off all the events of the uh, the Quidditch World Cup match. Yeah, I know. And they with had the Death Eaters and in, shit. In the fucking yeah, they did that all wrong. That just looks stupid. They did kind of they, look stupid. And then they... They never really showed nothing happening. And then when like, they get to that scene, that scene's done wrong. First of all, they have the son just walking around with his fa- with his whole face out. Like, that's not correct. like, hey, we should probably... That's not correct. Then... Let me, let me find out. Yeah, then the, the, suit, the events suit, where, like, the Death Eaters show up and ruin the, uh, the camping ground, all yeah. the stuff that happens happens in the woods. In the movie, it just happens in the tattered up camping grounds. Yeah, it just happens in the crazy camping grounds. And I was like, but I mean, that makes. But they sense. also cut out the elf just entirely. They just didn't even bother putting anything about the elf, elves. Man. There's a whole thing they about the elves. The they just cut that out entirely. I mean, other than them, uh, no, that's just, other than Dobby, there's no oh. other elf. But the whole elf thing was like a whole subplot. I gotta go back and read the book. And they then, like a whole, like whole. They going deep into slavery. Let me find yeah, because Hermione's trying to uh, liberate the elves. Yeah. Okay. Well, they talked about, but no. See, they said Harry was trying to liberate the elves. No, Hermione's trying to in liberate them. In the movie them. too. No, in the movie, it's just nothing about elves no, at all. I don't know. You're right because she. I just she watched the movie today. Uh, What's his face? They didn't. Talk they about had like so badges. Long. And they gave her clothes, but that wasn't that was in the uh, Order no. of the Phoenix. No. Yeah, no. When when Dobby got freed, that was in the first book. No, it was the second book. Was that the second book? What was the second book? The second book was the uh, Chamber of Secrets. See, this is an unimportant book because <laughs> because see, this is why I hate the Malfoys because Lucius Malfoy slipped Tom Riddle's journal 
into uh, Jenny's stuff. Yeah, and then Jenny was releasing the serpent and getting yeah, people yeah, damn yeah. near killed and shit because his riddle that. was controlling her every time she wrote in it. He yeah. was getting it straight. He was about to use, about to suck off her life and to re- resurrect himself himself. out the journal. Yeah, okay, I remember that. They had that in the fucking. It's very dark things. A lot of murder. This is dark. That's that's the Harry Potter we need. Like somebody going, someone's going to reboot it. They need to reboot it like Batman, make it dark. No, they need to reboot it as a ser- like a a whole TV series, and go through the books. Like Game of Thrones. Like Game of Thrones is not movies for the books. It's a series. Now, granted, it diverts from the books greatly. But if you have a series, you can have it diverse from the books because no one's fucking read the books. <laughs> Only a hand no, the people who read the books are like, oh yeah, it's kind of on point, or like they'll skip some, or they'll do some out of order. That's my they did stuff out of order, but then like I've way further read, down. I've never even tried to read. Nah, I've heard people. I've heard other people say I've not. Yeah, I've neither not, read or watched it. To. Uh, I watched the fuck out of the show. My fucking um. Yeah, the fourth movie is awful. It's just god awful. There's just a lot. Of, like with <laughs> Mad. Like the Gods of Fire. No, with Mad Eye Moody, like. <laughs> They kept having. They kept doing like this weird scope view of his, uh, of his, of his uh, eye. magic eye. Yeah. It was like, why is this in the movie? Y'all spent money on this scene. Like, it's one thing if you could just if they just have it have his viewpoint from like wherever he's spying on them. Even though they kept doing a lot of, uh, they were doing foreshadowing, but they were foreshadowing the wrong thing. And so <laughs> it was so annoying. It like really won't really pay attention to this. Bro, shit. they they I was just like, ooh, Harry's a new queen. They, were, they were doing like this weird <laughs> scope <laughs> view. Oh they were doing like this weird scope view from his eye and shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like they spent money on this? <laughs> the hell? So Instead of sense. just doing whole scenes right, they spent I'm, money on this scope view. I I'm 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 going to dedicate my life to posting this on Tumblr. Just this one specific part we're talking about just so and then hey, and then I, it was like some scenes it was like it's a part <laughs> it was some scenes i was like hey, i was like fans, y'all I'm really w- they hear this shit no nah, fam it was something i was like y'all really wasted <laughs> cgi on this bullshit terrible. the force movie was terrible <laughs> i was like damn y'all really wasted cgi money on this bullshit <laughs> Like the whole thing about the dragon was just annoyed the shit out of me because that was dragon. done all wrong. So the, in the first, they had to do three tests. In the first test, they had to, uh, they each had to face a dragon one on one. So oh, yeah, Wait, I, okay, I, I did. So that Harry's part. idea, I read that. I remember that part from Mad Eye Moody was uh, that he figured out through Mad Eye Moody was to use his. Uh, his broomstick to fly around it to snatch the egg. Yeah. And they did a whole extra action part. I see this, this kind of makes sense, but it does. they did a whole extra action part where he fly. First of all, the ring, instead of being like a big grass field, it was like this weird, like rock, like bouldered Dumb. formation or something. Dumb. So it was like all jacket instead of just an open field. Which wasn't correct. I don't think I don't remember them saying that in the book. I might have to just go back and look for it. And then uh, the dragon was on a uh, a chain, and he yeah. f- Harry's getting his ass whooped for like ten minutes before he finally gets his broomstick. And then the dragon the dragon breaks the chain and f- like chases him all the way to the castle. That definitely wasn't in a book. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, they. I guess they they put all their efforts towards uh, making this action scene where like the dragon nearly kills him. Then he I mean, he lands on the roof of the the castle and then falls down it, and then he barely manages to hold onto a windowsill. Then he has to grab his broom, and the dragon breathes fire at him and singes the broom, and then they crash into like a bridge walkway, and people are like, but but nobody's in the area where they can see. It. They're like, huh. And he like flies back. Was 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 even more stupid is the niggas can the niggas can call their broom. So he's sitting there hanging on the ledge trying to reach his broom where he can just like I don't I've think seen he, the movie where the niggas can call the brooms to their hands. Like, I think it's the fact I think either one he he was just so close that he figured he could just grab, grab it, it which, which he did. Even, no, the thing is like the foot thing was hooked on the roof, yeah. so he was trying to yank it. Oh. And he couldn't get it. Oh my god! 
and like by the end i just what like just after like, after the second test i just barely paid attention and then i just like started doing other stuff in my room <laughs> until he got into the uh into the he got sucked through the port key to the graveyard where Voldemort was resurrected. I didn't even end up watching. It. I just turned and it was like, oh, he's uh he stuck to the grave and Voldemort's walking around talking to him. And I was yeah, like, shit, you know, I was like, yeah, this part's pretty close. And he's <laughs> and he's like, oh, I couldn't touch you before, but now I can. And he like reach, he just arcs shit. over, he hook shots but over yeah. his head to touch his forehead Stupid with a finger. Ass shit. I mean, you think what, about it. That's that was so. That, that's what he does. In that the was book, so fucking basically. like you have you have the top wizards in the world teaching at this academy, and these motherfuckers can't beat him. He was well, a student there. The only person that was that he was afraid of was Dumbledore. Yeah, Dumbledore should have ended this shit a long time ago. With his bitch ass. Well, they what they were gonna do? They Die. Were, I did, well see in order of the phoenix they were like they had the the order of the phoenix before but they were outnumbered like 20 to 1 so oh, people were people was just getting killed off by death eaters like one fucking by one Nazis. getting God picked damn. off yeah motherfucking that's that's another thing i put yeah, uh the hood, though. was voldemort basically hitler pretty much yeah he's basically hitler and then i wonder it was he based on orochimaru or was orochimaru based on him because okay, if you think first. about it well the original teller or tomorrow but that's not like that's just a, a serpent with a bunch of heads and if you cut off a head another head grows back no that's the hydra it had like eight heads and then what the dude had to do he had to like uh lure it with like uh with alcohol because it liked to drink so he put a bunch of different uh uh, like tubs of alcohol around, and each individual head went for a tub. And when it was drunk, he cut off all the heads. Damn. So I think I don't know. I'm I'm not sure which one came first because it's like the Naruto or Tomorrow is basically the same kind of person. Like he was all powerful, he's dangerous, and yeah. then like only a whole he kept could he kept him. like he wanted immortality and he kept figuring out how to like not be dead not be not even necessarily be immortal just not be dead yeah just not stay dead yeah i think i wonder if the dude who His wrote arc did not last like they made it a big deal in the first in naruto but when he got to like what you call i forgot i forgot the name of the second series but i, I wonder no i wonder if he shit. came up with that like after he he must have read harry potter and was like Oh yeah, it still keeps coming. Did, back. No, but when it when, it, when did Naruto start though? Hey, was it two thousands? Because if nah, it was it start, 1990s, it definitely it definitely started in the nineties. It depends on who's first. Let's see. Oh, Wikipedia. Uh, it started in basically nineteen ninety seven. So but the All Tomorrow stuff probably wasn't uh until. <laughs> Cause it's is weekly, so it probably wasn't. It probably wasn't until up, at least the I'm third Ochi, book. I can't even say this nigga name. Uh, Orochimaru's. Look up his his uh first the first issue his first his first appearance. Let's see. Try what it. issue? And then look up what issue that when what year that issue came out. Let's see. I'm checking the Naruto Wiki and the regular Wikipedia uh, appearances. Um, yeah, but he didn't pan out at all. Like I thought he would be like, like I guess once they defeated him, it was like fuck that nigga. I don't, I don't care fuck about that nigga. Well, he was like a long standing annoyance. Like he wasn't, he wasn't all powerful, but it was just like he could always do something. He was a clown nigga. Uh, it says Naruto. <laughs> he was a clown nigga. Hunter, chapter forty five, his first appearance. The date of that. We're really in the weeds here. Uh, I don't see the date of it. Not even on their wiki. Uh, but 45, basically, you could say it's like 45 weeks in. So that's like a year. And that was his first chapter. And then he said, when he... A year, nigga? 45, a, a week. Uh, there's 52 weeks in a year. Okay. And they take like a month off uh, every nah. year. And that's him first showing up. He didn't start the immortality shit until like way after when he was doing his body snatching shit. I mean, but you can say that. So they basically, basically they kind of develop maybe at the same time. 
and they both basically do the same thing. They do like body snatching. They possess snakes, fucking trying to resurrect themselves. Do like, like ill means. They're basically the same character. Well, that's anybody. Nah, specifically snakes. Like that's their whole, their whole bit. I mean, but the nigga's name is Ari. I, I can't. Orochimaru. Orochimaru. You just told me that the legend of Orochimaru was a snake nigga. I don't think. No, but that's different. What's Voldemort mean? I mean shit. It's it's a, a anagram of oh, uh, Tom Tom, Tom Marvelo yeah. Riddle. I forgot. Which turns <laughs> to I am Voldemort, which is whack. Cause which then is you, stupid. You're just getting rid of the rest of your name. Why didn't you just put the whole name? Why would you even you know, just anagram your name to come up with Voldemort? Because he hated his... He so hated his, his father's no, name, yeah. Yeah, he hated his dad because his dad was smuggling, his mom was a witch, and then his dad abandoned her. I would too. Crazy bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, so I, I tried to think of uh, who are the light-skinned people I trust. Uh, first things first. There's only uh Eric Gordon and Brandon Roy, and that's I mean, we already that's been the, over this stuff. That's the end of the list, and then I I tried to think of it and write down all the people I could actually think of. Uh, The Rock. Is Rock light skin? He's absolutely light skin. But he, I mean, is he's he Samoan. Just Samoan. Yeah, so he light skin. I mean, it's not a lot of dark. Well, there are dark skin Samoans, but I'm I mean, just saying, it's like we don't think of him as being light skin. Like, yeah, he's light skin. I absolutely think of him being is light the skin. Rock black? They told yeah, me his rock dad's black. black. Oh yeah. Okay, I guess The Rock is light skin. As long as my criteria for being light skinned as long as you black, that yeah. if you're not if you're not black, you can't be light skinned You can be light colored, but you're not light skinned Yeah, he's absolutely black. Oh, uh, I find you a picture of his dad. Because Bruno Mars yeah. is not black. And I'm gonna need y'all to stop saying Bruno Mars is black. Uh, he get a pass, but he's okay. Not black. Rocky Johnson. God damn, that would not be a picture. His name was Wade Bowles. Like <laughs> that's an old black man name. That is an old black man name. I can picture thing with a cowboy hat, like cowboy boots. Nah, see, look at this. That's his dad. Oh, he was a nigga. <laughs> he was this, fully a nigga. This big ass Vegeta haircut. <sighs> yeah. So the Rock. Uh. I definitely went off the rails here. <laughs> I put Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and Donnie Yen. <laughs> you I went way off the rails. That is not even. I was just writing down names. You just write down names and then I people forget. that you liked at that point. I just wrote down names of people I trust, and then I remembered what I was actually doing <laughs> <laughs> halfway through. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross. Tracy Ellis. Oh, uh. Oh, I'm blackish, nigga. I know, but, like, do we can, like. Yeah, have you not seen Diana Ross? I mean, yeah, but like, yeah, she light skinned but like, have you not seen Diana Ross? I I mean, I just trust I trust light skinned women more than I trust light skinned niggas. Well, you like know I what? said, I shouldn't light skinned niggas. I trust. You're right. Uh, You're right. Barack Obama. I don't trust Barack Obama. He was president. Got I it. like Barack Obama, but I trust Barack Obama. I don't trust Barack Obama. Hey, uh. Jason Tatum, if he stopped complaining about the foul calls he gets when he gets called for fouls, because he complained a lot in the playoffs, and that was getting on my nerves. Fuck Jason Tatum. Hey, he was getting nigga buckets. Dunk. He was getting buckets. He dunked on LeBron and gonna hit that nigga with a chest bump. Like, I, you got to. You dunk. I slap shit out of that nigga. Don't you don't do that shit. You got to. If, if I dunk <laughs> That's on LeBron. That's cool. If you dunk, cool. If I dunk so on great. LeBron, I'm definitely. If I dunk directly on LeBron, I'm definitely yelling at him. You saying that like, shit what's so up, that nigga come hit you heavy. Heavy as fuck, nigga. With that it, big, it doesn't six, take away that frame. It doesn't take away that I dunked on him. Mm, nigga, demolish your shit with a. It doesn't take a, away that with I dunked a self on pass. You, I still dunked on him. <laughs> you looking stupid as fuck. I still if dunked you get on hit him with a self hey, pass. Volume guy. Oh, if you get hit with a self pass. I still dunked on him. I don't care. If you get hit with a self pass in the in the playoffs, you definitely you got to give it up. I still dunked on him. I don't care. We looking like the collective of Toronto. I still dunked on him. I don't care. Oh Nobody on God, Toronto, Toronto dunked on him. Toronto series was terrible. <laughs> Nobody on Toronto dunked on him. I, Toronto, Tor- Jason Tatum dunked on him. That's all that matters. Toronto was ugh. How you how you look yourself how you look yourself in the mirror after you doing that? None of them got it done. If I dunked on him, I got it done. It doesn't matter. Mm. Um, I noticed that. Uh, have you seen who Trey Young is? 
Trey Young's a new dude who's who who did he what what position did he get drafted in? He got what drafted he get drafted? uh fifth overall and he's who going was to first? Atlanta. Obama? No. Uh first was Mar no, first was uh uh DeAndre Aiden. Never even heard of that name. So Trey Young uh reminded me of people who talk without using their tongue all the way. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, I I saw him and he was I already do from the sky report that he was gonna love the shit. Yeah. <laughs> so he's one of those people that he one of those people that talk without using their tongue as much. <laughs> like their <laughs> lips are moving, but their tongues are not you moving. Just, you just shit on this nigga whole existence. That shit pissed me off. Wanna, <laughs> Bro, let that, first let of that all, young he, man make it. First dog. of all, he funny looking as shit. He, he is got funny the, looking. The weirdest, longest face with this thick ass chin. <laughs> and then this terrible haircut where it's just a mess of curls on top and then it's like a undercut so the curls just fall down. It's like, what are you doing with that guy? Bro, he remind me of like like run a brush through that shit, my nigga. He remind me of Jose Altuve for some reason. I don't know why. I just every time I look at him, I think about the nigga from the Astros, bro. Altuve. Yeah, you're drunk. I I don't know why. I guess cuz they're both like they're smaller the smaller stature and, and no Trey uh, Young is taller than you, nigga. I know Trey Young is taller than me, but just like compared to to, I was watching him on a what was I? I was on watching him on ESPN. That show with the dude who played for Michigan. You know mm. what I'm talking about? No, I don't. The nigga who played for 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 the Fab Five. Oh, you talk about Jalen Rose? Jalen Rose when he did like the athlete interviews or something I guess. on Get Up. Yeah, and he was on a compared to Jalen Rose, the nigga is short. So I was just yeah, like, but Jalen Rose is like six eight. Yeah, Jalen Rose that's is just, gargantuan. That's just, that's just when I look at all basketball players who aren't like six seven, six six. Even nigga six three, you might as well be my height. The fuck? No, he's still six <laughs> three. <laughs> I'm like tall when I get next. I'm tall until I get next to tall people. I'm definitely six one. When I'm like next to a six three, six four nigga, I, I kind of get upset. I mean, I was like this is what it must feel like to be like average height. Fuck y'all niggas. I mean, imagine being the the six whatever guy at my job who just wears shirts that don't fit his size correctly. <laughs> so all his shirts are like billowy and shit because they're like old. They're not slim cut. Just imagine me and that guy. You gotta look at me all day. Well, uh, <laughs> bitch, go to a tailor. I don't. There's definitely a tailor up in front of the name. Imagine being s- taller than 6'2 and working an office job. That's got to be whack. Imagine being taller than 6'6 and working an office job. Imagine being taller than 6'6 six, six and not playing no sports. This is whack. Oh, um, I'll be seeing tall niggas be like, you just wasted all your potential, huh? You couldn't uh, You couldn't uh, got a rebound. Tristan Thompson got an $80 million contract. And all this nigga does is sometimes gets rebounds. <laughs> and our fuck Tristan, you, that was funny. And our Tristan <laughs> Thomas, our Tristan Thomas, uh, haterade of the week, sponsored by uh, not I your father's fruit punch. I said he sometimes gets rebounds. <laughs> That wasn't that even that, that wasn't even that. That good. was hilarious. That nigga, was not you, good at all. They can get paid what to, a fail. They can, they, can, they can get paid to almost get a rebound. It's not. It's not very they can good. Get paid joke. to almost get a rebound and argue with Steph Curry. Oh no, argue with Draymond Green. That was not that funny, guy. If I was Chloe, if I was Chloe, it wasn't that funny? I wouldn't guy. even. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even tripped on that nigga. Honestly, it wasn't that funny, man. I wouldn't even tripped on that nigga. Look at that nigga's stats. You can do better, Chloe. She really downgraded. Did she? She went I mean, from James Harden, who's can you can you can you downgrade if you are the downgrade? True. She definitely is not the cuter sister. And no matter how much plastic surgery she, she get, she's still not the cuter sister. I mean, none of them are the cuter sister. The cuter sister is the one that no longer exists because they ate her in the womb. <laughs> no, Courtney, she kind of cute. Well, nah, well, fuck Courtney. Courtney, Courtney, the calmest one of all of them. They all whack. Courtney said, "I only like white dick, and that's white dick is all I like." They all whack, except for Dream, Dream Kardashian. Who the hell is Dream? That's uh Black China and uh 
Rob uh, Kardashian. Oh, that's just. And now uh, you just North, made me and sad. The, and the West kids. Now you just made me adults. sad. So they become adults, and we see how see how their personalities change. You mean the the ones who are subject to idiot Kim and whack job Kanye? Look, I mean, yeah, he bipolar, but like, bro, you forty. I just hope they get a hold of like some of his old records and just play them shits. Like, no, they this got is you. No, they got to hear no more parties in L.A. and fucking. Uh, <laughs> They got here fucking famous. black skinhead and yeah, fucking famous and <laughs> fucking shit. famous. They hear that one song. I miss the old Kanye. Chop up the full Kanye. All right, calm down, Kanye. <laughs> Remember, uh, that's the uh, that's that one beat I show I sent to y'all, and Garen was like, I don't know how this is supposed to help me with something. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yeah, but it's good. It's like a song about Kanye missing the old Kanye to like a soul beat. <laughs> Versus whatever the hell he did it over. Nothing. He just he just said the shit. No, no. The the track I sent was. Oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. a soul beat. Wasn't it? Uh, yeah, co- uh, it's cooking from SoundCloud. Soul beat. Yeah. No, nah, it wasn't cooking soul. I thought it was cooking soul. No, nah, it wasn't cooking, cooking soul. soul. He still he's still number one for that one. That one. Uh, cooking song soul is did. a pair. There's two dudes. Yeah, them, they haven't boy. been around for a while. That one song they did, I forgot what song that was. It was hard, but the beat was off, which pissed me off so much. Well, they did a it lot was of theirs off slightly. They did a lot of theirs like just over made tracks already. Yeah, I so know they would match just, up. It was it was just one that was like the beat was good and it sounded great. It I would have to say that's probably slightly. it's probably it's probably the groove line one. Yeah, because groove line is like it's, they weren't following a beat, so like. Once you get to like currency, he's not on that. He's beat. not on the beat, and it, it made me so mad. Yeah, but the beat was so good. It, the beat was good, even in the beginning of the song. It was still kind of off, and I was just, but I was just, I ignored it. I don't know. Being a DJ, like anything that's like kind of off, it 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 just sounds terrible to me. Even even if it's good, like if you try to beat match with something and your beat matches off slightly, you can hear that shit. Oh shit, there goes our flag. Oh no, you, they can't flag us. Imagine getting flagged with something on YouTube. Imagine getting flagged on YouTube for something that you got off of YouTube. This is not even the, the, the legit link. This is a re upload. <laughs> <laughs> cooking Soul. I don't think Cooking Soul that active anymore. So. It was hard. I remember a lot of shit you said cooking so on it. Shit, Nas did a whole album. He did the Lost Tapes 1.5. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Nas, what you think about Nas' new album? Um, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't capture me like life is good. Ah, no, I said that shit too. It's very, it's pretty much meh. Yeah, hey. Bruh, meh. And I mean, some shit, some of his bars is hard, but like, huh, let me for the know. most part, nothing that just stands out and makes me want to just jam it. I forgot to. Uh, I was gonna fact check some of the stuff he was saying. <laughs> Cause, cause people, <laughs> the that first track, because people I be think. like, Nas just says wrong things, and I never thought of that. <laughs> uh, who started Fox News? <laughs> who's the black, who's the black man who started Fox News? Uh, Rupert Murdoch and Roger Isles, the both the. Uh, well, I remember Rupert Murdoch. He's a white man. Both the pictures on here are very white. So, I don't know what this guy was talking about. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> First, I but mean, it's like, he'd be like, oh, Willie Lynch was a myth. Okay, yeah. A black man started Fox News. Look it up. What? Uh, n- no. No, 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 he didn't. <laughs> no, he did here. Uh, so, not for radio. I like the song. Cop shot the kid. I would have preferred he just did it over the actual children's story beat instead of just that chopped up. That instead of just hearing cop shot the kid, cop, cop shot, shot the kid, kid cop shot. It's like you hear that the whole time. It's like, dude, just and I can't do- wait for him to go. You can, you can still hear him scream and shit. Like, no, or just play the the children's story beat, or just just use I mean, a different beat. I mean, I'm pretty sure Slick Rick would 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 love for you to use that beat. I mean, if it gets him back in the country. Did that support Slick Rick? I don't know. I didn't know Slick Rick wasn't born in America. Nah, he is English. 
Is he English English Like English accent And everything Or is he just A nigga who was born in England It says American British rapper Wow Is he American Brit- British Is he American It says British, British like, American, It says German? Is a British born American rapper uh, Was born and raised In southwest London District of Mitcham See, I've never heard him talk To an English talk. Jamaican family He's blinded in the right eye By broken glass As an infant in 1976, he and his family immigrated to the United States so and how, settled in the Bronx. How is he in the legal? How could how could he get deported if he immigrated to the states? Yeah, I, I don't know, know if he's. In, I don't know that he's uh, deported. No, well, they said they were trying to deport him. But that shit, that was like almost. Uh, after performing a Caribbean cruise ship 2001, Waiters was arrested by immigration and he re entered the United States. He was promptly told that he was being deported under law. Uh, Contenders refused bail, but after 17 months in prison, he was released 2003. Uh, I guess they did, then. So basically, he. It's not deported. Imagine not hating that shit. Like, nigga, you an immigrated, you an immigrated fucking person, and they tell you. Well, that. I saw a story on Twitter where a chick was in. She was a, a student in Canada oh, to yeah. learn how to read to learn English, and she was jogging along the the beach and crossed, crossed the border to, to, on accident, and then like went to the mountain, like went up the hill to take a picture of the view, and then got got. Snatched by border patrol and then was like stuck in jail for for two weeks, and like her mom brought her stuff, like brought her papers and stuff. They're like, "Well, we're gonna have to verify it," and then they're like, "Well, we're gonna have to have the uh, Canada verify it." Imagine being stuck. And she, okay, and first then they, of all, and then she was like 120 miles away from where she was even like picked up from. That was the thing. Like she wasn't even close. Wasn't even local. They could just took her to the freaking uh. The freaking um, what you call it, crossing point or whatever, or put up a fucking sign. This is this is the America here, guys. Imagine, first of all, no one from Canada sneaks into America. Trust me, no one from Canada. Canada may they have just some problems. They just try to smuggle like weed. Weed, but even then, like you can definitely go sell just, that shit in Denver. My brothers ain't just jogging across the uh. Across, down the beach and like oh I'm in America now they can't America. get me can't yeah, catch yeah. me what the fuck what kind of weirdo shit imagine if that was but the tables was turned and a fucking American jogger was caught jogging <laughs> in Canada Canada, Canada, Canada has been like oh just don't let it happen again and go on about the business we don't want to make it into something for no reason I, I haven't even heard of them like patrolling the border like that that heavy I mean they got to now because they got tariffs on and Canada USA hit Canada with tariffs. Yeah, on stuff that's made in China. <laughs> this is how this is this is our reality. Like For those who don't live in America, this like, is our fucking reality, dog. Like Trump was trying to uh, put tariffs on shoes because he said Canadians were like buying shoes in America and then scuffing them up to uh, smuggle them. That. Yeah, he said they were scuffing them up to make them look older to smuggle them into Canada. It's like. Yeah, but most shoes are made in China anyway. So how you gonna put a tariff on something that's not even manufactured here? Bro, he's so stupid. And also, he's I mean, so fucking stupid. Also, like, what is that? Doesn't that's not messing up American economy anyway? Like, you're they're buying the shoes from the store. It's all. A I game mean, to get Russia. To so be what? Number so one you you finna put tariffs on eBay since you're not buying the shoes from the store? You're just buying them from eBay. I can't. I can name you. I'm. I'm. I'm with. So I have a whole shelf of my shoes. Uh, one, <laughs> two. Wait, what are you naming? Uh, what are you? I'm counting off how many shoes I actually bought in the store. Oh. Uh, so one, two. <laughs> the um, fuck? Um. Uh, three, four, five. Don't remember why I ordered my free runs. Uh, KD's that's six. Uh, I don't think I bought any LeBrons in the actual store. Uh, yeah, so six out of what's eight? Six out of about fifty pairs of shoes that I bought <laughs> in the actual pair store in the actual store, not including the shoes I've thrown away. 
Like who the fuck? Everything oh, else is putting tariffs on from you. eBay. Shut the fuck up! Oh my god, I just want this nightmare to end. <laughs> oh, you heard that? Uh, he wanted funding to go to space force. It's like, so you wanted to cut funding to NASA, and now you want to put funding put towards back space to NASA? force. No, but not to NASA to Space Force. But what it's do you like, think NASA's gonna become? Why did, why didn't gonna you, become a space? It's like why military. didn't you, why did you just leave NASA alone? What the fuck? And just task them with making this the people who deal with space should make the Space Force, like, or just not have the stupid idea of Space Force because that's just a stupid idea. That's just a, like uh, unless you're unless you're admitting that aliens are real and that they're hostile and we need to be prepared for it. Uh, alien invasion then go ahead on record and say that but don't just be like oh them niggas found some more evidence against me you know what we gonna do let's talk and know what pisses me off the most is the motherfuckers around him who enable him cause the they people on Pence just sitting there nodding his head like this wasn't the dumbest fuck come on Pence like I know you a, you a bigoted homophobic prob- pro- probably closeted gay man but you gotta sit there and be. You can't sit there and just nod your head to that dumbass shit this nigga was saying. Like, come on, dog. You got an education. We don't even know Trump graduated high school. Mm. And you sat there and you nodded your head and smiled when you this nigga said we're they, making the space force. He held a press conference to tell us that he they're getting checks. That's he all. held a press conference just, to tell they us just, that they just trying to keep their own positions and they they yes man in it. Bro, but he had a he held a press conference to tell us with TV cameras and TVs to tell us that he was making a fucking he was making Halo. They still on payroll at the White House. That's all they care about. Dog, I'm I'm enjoying SpaceX. I'm gonna get that check, and I'm a I'm a fucking retire in ten years. No, you gotta do twenty. I gotta do twenty. It's gonna be new. Oh shit! You gonna have to do twenty. You gonna have to live through twenty. Live, what what is that what, what am, am I gonna not live through <laughs> like, some, some shit gonna blow up he, some shit gonna blow up or so you might get launched into space <laughs> get launched into space for no reason we're sending you guys to the, to the outer realm above Japan See, they, for what <laughs> they, gonna, they, gonna, they gonna send they gonna send your black ass to wherever they trying to explore first and then if y'all make it, they're gonna. No they just. Y'all make it, if y'all make it, they're just gonna be like, okay, y'all did. Uh, these white people were the first people to step on <laughs> Mars alive. Ain't no why they could turn off the Wi Fi on your ass. Ain't no unplugging it and plugging it back in if you in a shuttle. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be like the Martian and live, nigga. No. Terraform Mars, nigga. I'm gonna find the find the Martian ruins. Martian ruined city. I full hardly believe there's like a ruined city on Mars. Well, it wouldn't be a ruined city. It'd just be a city. No, it'd just be ruins. No, why would it be ruins? Because we there wouldn't be no life. There's no life on Mars. We don't know that. That's the whole point. I mean, there is, but there's just microbes. Like no, know. we don't know. Don't germs just we don't know if there's a whole separate life on Mars. That's the thing. So it wouldn't we be don't. a ruined city. You're not going to fucking Brazil. What if what if the Mars look for died the out Aztecs. like billions of years ago? What if they are Aztecs? We just don't know it. Let's stop. <laughs> you go up there and you see a bunch of now you just now you just shooting in the dark. Are I you am, done? Honestly, I don't even know where the fuck I'm going with that one. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna join SpaceX and do nothing for ten years. You mean Space Force? Space for whatever the fuck. <laughs> Space, SpaceX, whatever, was, SpaceX, whatever stupid idea. SpaceX this shit was is what called. the Tesla thing. He called it Space Force. That sounds like a terrible toy from Dollar General. <laughs> that sounds like uh, <laughs> that sounds like a '90s cartoon. <laughs> sound like a Japanese knockoff of Power Rangers. No, that's not even. Uh, no, first of all, Power Rangers is from Japan. I mean, like a like one of those terrible ones, like the the. Like the other shows that no, come from the like no, Space Force. Billboards. No, Space Force is a cartoon like uh, Thundercats and Silverhawks. Like it's specifically <laughs> made to sell us toys. <laughs> oh my god! Thundercats, Silverhawks, He Man. Space Force is is like 
Space Force is the space version of He Man and Thundercats. <laughs> space Force, the exact <laughs> animation style, except they fly into space. Space Force came out at the same time as the first Halo. It's just Halo was better. No, nah, Space Force. Space Force is the space version of Johnny Quest, the original <laughs> one, not the not the cool new one. Oh my god, the original one where the hoes was like, the hoes was made in Microsoft Flash. Space Force sounds like a terrible B movie. No, Space Force probably is a B movie. <laughs> there probably is a whole movie called Space Force. <laughs> with like with like little Bow Wow. Nah, it's like, he's not it's cool. Like, he go no, nah, he's not cool enough. <laughs> he's, he's, like, who's he's who's not, somebody who's somebody he's, from the He's day. not making it in that movie. Who's somebody from back in the day Space that you, Space Force is a, a B movie that Lakeith Stanfield Googled to be in. <laughs> that's how he started acting. He just Googled <laughs> acting, acting roles. Acting roles. Yeah. <laughs> he's just Google roles. That's that's like his first movie, and it that's like a college, a, a collegiate student movie. He's just like, "Well, fuck, I'm doing this." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Space Force sounds like a Marvel like series that they're trying to make work, but it probably won't work. Uh, it's one of those obscure, like super obscure uh, yeah. indie comic books. It's like, well, if you're in the indie comic books, you know. But it's like, you should know about Space Force. It's like, nah, fam, you googled it too. No, nah. just be real with us. You googled no. it too. No, you wasn't clamoring for. Yeah, never even heard of Guardians you of the Galaxy. Clamoring for Volume Thirty Five. I didn't know what the fuck the Avengers was. <laughs> I literally didn't know what the Avengers was. I know played the, the game, Avengers. didn't know who the fuck <laughs> the Avengers were. Well, that's because you're thick in the head. Definitely knew. I knew about the Avengers. I wasn't that excited for the movies when it started. Because I was like, this only going to be like five of them. Who the fuck is Hawkeye? <laughs> Definitely did not know who Hawkeye and Black Widow were at <laughs> who the all. Fuck is Hawkeye? That was a complete, complete and total oh surprise to me. It's, it's Iron Man. Oh my God. It's, it's Thor. Oh my God. It's, it's Captain America. Is that the Hulk? Oh my God. Oh my God. Black Widow so sexy. <laughs> No. Who the fuck is that with the with the bow? Did not care about Black Widow. Still don't. Who the fuck is Why that? she? I'm Hawkeye. Who the fuck is Hawkeye? No idea. It's like, oh, you're the uh, you're the he's, he's the Robin Hood. It's, no, no, no. It's like, oh, you're the uh, the stolen character of Green Arrow. <laughs> Are you Green Arrow? No, I'm Hawkeye. <laughs> you're you're one. Of the, you want the you're, uh, you're a Green Arrow villain. You are one of the uh, <laughs> the plagiarisms of that era, <laughs> bro. I was I was sitting there thinking about comic book villains. Oh my god, like everybody other than like Batman and Superman have, and yeah, Batman and Superman have terrible villains. No, yeah. it includes Batman and Superman. I mean, they have awful villains, but then you for every for every goofy ass shit like Calendar Man, you have like. <laughs> <laughs> You see how her name was stupid ass shit? They try to put him in the game like anybody would care about Calendar Man. Get yeah. the fuck out of my face. I don't care about Calendar Man, nigga. Hey, man, there was a lot of uh, a lot of drugs that was Bro, going on. A lot of psychedelics. The fucking Flash's villains are basically just different versions of the Flash. And they're like stereotypes. <laughs> No. Fucking Green Arrows villains are different niggas who can shoot arrow. Like, what are we? What are we here? Why are we here? I, why am I reading this nigga who can do like just have an archery contest to be done with the? Why are we fighting? Also, who doesn't just have a gun? Like, your your you, your weapon is obsolete. <laughs> I think somebody told him that. I think I was watching the skit. They were talking to Hawkeye. It's like, yeah, your weapon is weapon is obsolete. It's really cool, sorta, but like, like maybe if you was hunting deer. Yeah, it's fine. Birds amazing, but this gun can shoot twice as far. Also, Unless, also you're fighting intergalactic beings. Yes, and when he ran out of arrows, I thought you are the most useless character <laughs> in that first Avengers movie. A very, when he ran out of arrows, I got very so finite mad. Finite amount of arrows he he really carry. he really carry a fucking bow and arrow to fight. You a grown man? I mean, nobody's trying to be Hawkeye. No one's trying to be Hawkeye for Halloween. Ryan Gosling plays the character the best, but like, Who's Ryan, Ryan Gosling. The the you, do you have the right person? Yeah, Ryan. Go no, not Ryan Gosling. Uh, yeah, because Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Reynolds. Nope, still wrong. <laughs> I'm still wrong. Uh, Over two. <laughs> 
I know it's Ryan <laughs> Ryan Hemsworth. I don't fucking know. You sure it's not Ryan Reynolds? Oh, uh, for three. Guys, you're terrible. Who is Ryan something? You are terrible. You have technology. I'm off technology is on the floor and I don't feel like reaching back for it. Well, you're just gonna look dumb. Ryan yeah, fuck. Yeah, I mean you're over three right now. You sure you should keep shooting? And Ryan Hensworth doesn't count. Maybe you, yeah, it counts entirely. No, it doesn't. Count. <laughs> I literally mix two people's names together. Nah, it counts. You're over three. Ah, uh, fuck. Can't take it back. It's on wax. Oh, Ryan. Okay, Ryan. Gosh. Why don't you just give up and go to the next subject? No, because now you you making it a thing. So now I have to make it a thing too. You fuck? made it a thing at the beginning. Now I'm making this a thing. Watch me be a millennial. Hey Siri. Talking to the mic guy. You gonna get us uh, on? You gonna get this video struck down uh, too? Go ahead. Can you stop cutting our screen off? <laughs> the fuck? You gotta ask questions. This guy can't even use his phone. There's no mobile number for Kristen Hebb. Would you like to? Who played Hawkeye? Hawkeye. Four. Which Hawkeyes? College. <laughs> Who plays? <laughs> uh, and that's that me phone. being a millennial Technology doesn't work We should all just get rid of it And go back to rocks I hate that all the phones come That's been coming out That's not the uh, That's not the S9 Don't have headphone jacks So annoying Jeremy Reiner Oh my god Now you weren't close <laughs> I was not close You were just saying We're Ryan Ryan <laughs> You were just stuck on Ryan I don't know why I guess I've been thinking I think it's the Reiner part I just don't know why I kept calling that nigga Ryan <clears throat> Yeah all the phones coming out Don't have headphone jacks It makes me sad Cause I use headphones Here's what you do All the time And I don't wanna only Use bluetooth And oh. keep having to worry about Charging something else. Well, first I had to look on that one. Let me stop talking about that. It's like, and then like the phones that do have a headphone jack, it's like inferior specs to the the Galaxy S9, or it's like it doesn't have wireless charging, even though it has a glass back, or it's not IP68. It's like every phone that's not the S9, you have to like compromise something. That pretty much. And I'm not compromising anything. If the S7 can have wireless charging a headphone jack and be waterproof why can't your phone also be that's newer than it because have wireless charging a headphone jack and be waterproof that's because dumb. because money <laughs> that's dumb. because money it wasn't expensive to have the headphone jack before yeah step your motherfucking games are cunts be, but because money i don't look let's just have a standard camera and have all the other features they didn't that put i a, actually need they didn't put they didn't put headphone jacks in the iphone 7s and like 3 weeks later like hey we got apple pods yeah. cuz we don't have a headphone jack what's funny is that i tried to buy some on amazon and it just did not work <laughs> did you, did you bought the cheap ones or the actual ones uh, i think they were 20 dollars oh i got a Oh, the mouse just didn't work at all. Pose is not the right one. <laughs> <Them hoes. laughs> Some cheap ass ones that be seen on fucking Amazon. They be trying them to sell them. Did not on work Amazon. at all. They be I, like the case be bulkyish. Like the I don't, no, they didn't come in a case. They came in like a sealed bag to, with no a, charging case. The the headphones. Yeah, they weren't AirPods. Just like the regular lightning cable. Oh, headphones. Yeah. Nah, them hoses came in a bag and they did not work. I yeah, just they didn't work away. with nothing else. No, they didn't work at all. They didn't work on anything. Not even though I, uh, not even an I, I have a, look. I have an iPhone, an iPod, and an iPad, and it did not work on anything. <laughs> and I just threw them away. <laughs> oh my god! Let me tell way. you. Let me tell you about the L I might be taking. All right, so I was. I've been looking for some new headphones because my other ones are just they beat the shit, and I'm trying to find some shit that I can hide behind my ears while I'm while I'm at work, so I can listen to music and not give a fuck. Because I'm a terrible employee Anyways You're also a terrible podcast host I am not that Because yeah. people love me Anyways um, You guys <clears throat> it doesn't count So um, I, 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 I follow this uh, This Twitter account Called Fat Kid Deals And they basically show you all kinds of deals That's around the internet and shit 
know what I'm saying? Like cheap ass shit. So I'm up there one night and I see fucking Beast X headphones for forty eight dollars. And I'm like, nigga, what? It's a go, right? So I wait till the next paycheck. I get my money. I go back looking for it. I find it. I put it in. First of all, I should have known that I was going to get fucked because it went from 48 to 55. But I didn't think nothing of it. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't cash this at first. It just it sounded too good to be true. And I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. This guy but, uh, has his phone. Going off in the middle of the podcast. I haven't looked to see what it was. At 2 a.m. That's my little brother. You know, I gotta answer my little brother. At 2 a.m. But anyway, so. Uh, so I, uh, I'm like, hell yeah, fucking $55. Norman Hoes is like 100 or something. But they just had them on sale on on Best Buy for ninety nine. So I'm thinking niggas is knocking the price down a little bit more. So I'm like, fifty five dollars, press go, green light, nigga. Bought them shits. That's on eBay. Bought them shits. It's like hell yeah. Some told me to go look at the at the seller's main site, right, nigga. It's a refurbished seller. Hey. Dog, who refurbishes headphones? It's a refurbished seller, bro. I did not even see that shit. It makes me so mad because they didn't put refurbished in the title at all. You know how they put refurbished somewhere in the title? Yeah, usually you see him. They didn't put that shit at all. I had to go to the person's regular site and then go down to their bio, which is all the way at the bottom, and the small print number one refurbished seller on eBay. I was like, bro, oh my god. I know. I bought mine from Amazon. Oh my god So now I'm like Fuck bro I tried to cancel this shit Too late Nigga I already took my money well, Yeah As soon as you pay It goes through Bro I was like Oh my god Am I finna take an L On these headphones I just know I, I, I'd have the worst luck When it comes to Fucking refurbished shit I remember I, I got that That iPod from uh From GameStop that didn't fucking work. That shit could only hold like four gigabytes worth of memory, and anything else it would just freeze. The, it would just freeze the fucking iPod. Well, first of all, you went to GameStop. That's what I don't fucked know. Up. I lost my other one trying to be Mister Fucking Fix It and try to fix the screen. Ended up fucking that shit up more than than I it already fucked up. Had to throw that bitch away. Mm, I miss my iPod. I think I'm trying to get another Courtney one. Getty. One of them classics. Recognize all these people. What are you looking at? Um, the big three. Uh, for whatever reason, I've looked at like the highlights of the games, of like what? the first week games. Bunch of old niggas shooting threes. <laughs> About playing three earlier. I don't know why. It's just, fun. just to see the people I recognize. It's I guess. a bunch of old niggas playing shooting threes. The Amari Stoudemire's in that league now. Yeah, it's something to do. Was, boring as fuck. <laughs> they no. play half court, and I'm pretty sure the rim the rim is shortened. No, nah, the rim's not shortened. It's just uh, that it's they're only playing half court three on three. <laughs> bro, who pays to go see that? I love ice. I Cube. mean, that whole got people there, so people went to go see it. I'm not finna see a bunch of niggas shoot threes all day. Fucking post up twos, and then uh, and did uh. Like every time someone scores, they just take it out. But if you uh, turn the ball over, you just can shoot it up. <laughs> fucking Glenn Davis in this hoe. This dude's fucking huge. Fucking Deshaun Stevenson on this hoe with a, a full hawk of dreads. I can watch a bunch of. Shit, whack. Uh. Yeah, uh, still being uh, annoyed by uh, there's people on the internet. I I tagged you on all this stuff with like somebody's the goat. <laughs> so, I told you people always do that. Somebody said Chris Brown's the goat or something. Somebody said uh, Jamie Foxx the goat or something. Somebody said somebody else was the goat or something. The hell? Oh. Uh, you got anything else? 
No, I'm pretty much dry. I'm just tired. I'm sleepy. All right, plug it. Drop the plugs. If you like what you listening to, what please. you probably don't. <laughs> Subscribe to us on you Thanks for, for the optimism dickhead uh, Please subscribe to us on YouTube We're on Stitcher Radio We're on uh, Google Play Store We're on iTunes We're on SoundCloud uh, Follow us on Twitter At Space City Bros uh, Follow us on uh, On Instagram At Space City Bros Um uh, this nigga. Uh, what else? Um, we have a Patreon. That should be on our on our Twitter. Fuck with us on Patreon. Um, I've been your host, Henny Pendergrass. I can't a Space City Tev. The nigga. No, we did not introduce ourselves at, at all. all. No. Oh well, y'all will figure it out. We out. Look how I run it up, look how I run it up, look how I'm coming up I wish you was one of us, see how that money come Paper cut fingers from counting that money up Praying emojis, the blessings keep coming I know I can't have enough, never on E Took off on haters, there's no need to gas me up I'm patting my lead, I'm too far ahead and there's no way you catching up